Chapter 13, Section 2, Exercise 3b. Let's start with an important note on page 2. If the domain of a function is one-dimensional, if the function is of one variable, then x can only approach a from two paths, along the real line from the left of a and along the real line from the right of a. If the domain of the function is two-dimensional, that is, if the function is of two variables, then there is an infinite number of paths in the plane along which to approach a point a, b. In this section, we are assessing the limit of a function as the inputs approach a particular point. In Calculus 1, you only had to compare the limit from the left versus the limit from the right. For multivariable functions, it is still the case that if two different path limits disagree, then the general limit does not exist. But since there are infinitely many different paths that you can take in towards a point, you cannot compare all the different path limits and see if they are all equal. In order to prove a limit exists, as we do in exercise 3a, it takes a very sophisticated algebraic argument. Let's proceed to exercise 3b. We are going to determine whether or not the limit of the given function f exists at 0, 0. This function is not defined at 0, 0, but the limit may exist nonetheless. But we will show in this case that the limit does not exist by finding two different path limits in towards 0, 0, which have different values. In general, you're going to have to be creative and come up with the different paths in towards the point, which give different path limit values. Along x equals y, f of x, y equals the following. f of y, y, since x equals y. I can make this simplification, y squared divided by 2y squared equals 1 half, since y is not equal to 0. When we evaluate a limit as y goes to 0, we never actually plug in y equals 0. Rewrite the following path limit notation. To recap, along this line x equals y, except at the origin, the function f has value one half at every point, so the limit is also one half. If we look along the line x equals 2y, f of xy equals f of 2y, y. So everywhere along this line, x equals 2y, the function has value 1 fifth, again except at the origin. So therefore the limit is also 1 fifth. So the general limit does not exist at 0, 0 because the two path limits are not equal.